<clears throat> Guess who? It's Nancy today. What else? <clears throat> now, Noor, you asked me, and, and also Dinah, and a few other people. I can't remember the names of everybody that asked me lately. <coughs> to tell me a little bit about myself. Well, you know everything to know presently. But <coughs> I was born in Chicago, and I lived there till I was two, a ripe old age. We lived in Hyde Park, which was a slum then. And I guess it was a good place for college students to live, so that's why my parents chose it, because it was low cost. However, it was dangerous and expensive. Or no, dangerous, even though it was expensive. And so they shipped us kids, my mom and kids, off to Connecticut to stay with our relatives. To be in the wilds of Connecticut where it was safe. And then my dad, ooh, that is exactly the same spot I was in when a truck like that hit me head on. I think I should put some flowers on that post there for when my courage died. That was the death of something, you know. Those flowers commemorate. But I didn't die. Or the school bus. The school bus died. That was plus 666. Anyway, but that's a whole other situation. We'll talk about that later. So my dad got a job at the New York Port Authority. So he lived, he worked in New York City. And we, we lived just across the George Washington Bridge in New Jersey. You can see it from my window. I was little. And then when we were about, when I was in grade two, I guess, my sister said to me that we were moving to Georgia, and I asked her if that was another planet. I wonder what, I, what shows I was watching at the time that made me even think about other planets. Anyway, it wasn't another planet, as it turns out. <laughs> it was just down south. And so, when I moved to Georgia then, with my family, um, I... <clears throat> I was called a Yankee by all the Georgians. I was from up north. I was called a Yankee. Anyway, I did the rest of my growing up there. And then when I reached my second decade, 20 or so, I came to Canada to investigate, to meet some of my ancestors. My, my father had relatives from Canada. So I came up to Canada and stayed with somebody, an aunt that I had never met. And I did some of my genealogy research. And then um, I met a fellow who proposed and I accepted. So I then stayed in Canada. I went back to the United States for a little while, but I stayed in Canada again. And I was married to him for eight years and I had two children, darling little children. And we had a pig farm. And it was not a good marriage. And so I left and um, moved into Kitchener. And as a, as a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Mormons, I um, attended my meetings. And I always knew that if I was where the Lord wanted me to be, I, he would bless me with a husband, a good husband that would love me and that I would love. So sure enough, I went to my single adult meetings, uh, conferences, and I met my sweetheart. And it was love at second sight, but we were married in about five weeks. So then he worked in Ottawa, so we moved up here, and then we got a place outside of Ottawa where we could afford it in a little town. And then we got a little more money, and we could live out in the woods. So that's where we're here now. So we have three more children together. He has four children from a previous marriage. And so all together there are nine. And all, at, at one time there were six. And we all lived together for about three months. And then um, the rest of the time it's just been us with my five. Our three and my two, which makes five, right? Anyway, that's a little about my that stuff. I can do a different one about my travel writing places, okay? See ya.